What is going on everybody? I'm here with yet another Ragnarok video. And today I decided to make a challenge video. Today I'm going to kill all berserkers Sekiro style. There was a popular challenge in Sekiro to defeat bosses or even the entire game without attacking. Ragnarok is not designed for that, but I still gonna try. Also, I believe YouTube likes suffering of YouTuber, and that is exactly what it gonna be. And of course for the purpose of more suffering, this is going to be give me God of War difficulty. So here's the plan. I put on Nidavellir braces and belt so I can keep filling their stun meter regardless of how passive the boss is. For the chest, initially I decided to go with Lunda armor so I can stack poison. Nidavellir enchantments for more stun damage. The rest of the slots and hints just maximizing defense for more stun damage as well. So naturally I move to Frickney the easy first. And at this stage nothing interesting, nothing special, super easy. I decided to give it a couple of tries for no damage and I did a third try. Both thrust and air charge attacks are easily pirable and surprisingly she is aggressive enough to get poisoned. If I have to rank this fight I gonna give it 2 out of 10. I decided not to mess around and introduced myself to Swift Dagger and the gang immediately. And because I knew the mechanic of this fight quite well, it was not that bad with exception of spheres. Swift Dagger always stays on you while one of the sisters fires support her and the other one has fun with Freya. Swift Dagger has the classic dual wielding move set, which means she will have long combos which is actually very good for building up stun. Good thing about those duo and trio boss fights that bosses will almost never attack you simultaneously, though you still need to keep the camera on all of them for awareness. Sister have standard mage berserker moves and will use melee moves on you only after sweep dagger is gone. This fight took me 8 minutes and it's not that bad, especially considering that my first ever no damage attempt with proper attacks took around 7 minutes. And yeah, I, if I rate this fight, I'm gonna rate it as a 3 juicy nokens out of 5, and uh, let's move on. Since I was in Alfheim, dual wielding Berserker was next, and as expected, it was easy peasy. Stun builds up really fast, and she is gone in no time. Well, if you can consider an 8 minutes and no time. The only move causing a problem is when she throws green things your way because it has very weird timing. I decided to try to do no damage and it was done in about 10 tries. I'm gonna give this fight 2 out of 10 as well. But then I went to Vanaheim and oh boy, trouble came from the direction you would not expect. By the way, most of the fights are cut because it's unwatchable if it's faster than X4, but X4 is not good enough to fit the entire fights. I will leave full fight uncut in the end of the video. First I visited the bearded guy just to realize my strategy not gonna work on him because of the stupid shields. Tried it a couple of times in dragon scale armor, it definitely helps to get rid of shields that still takes a million years but it makes things like 10 times slower when you're actually able to build stand meter on him because as soon as he stops attacking you, the stand meter is drained. The fact that this guy is super slow and doesn't have a lot of parable attacks doesn't help either. I started swapping armor between Dragon Scale and the Devilier depending on the if shield up or not to speed up the process, but even doing that it took me 25 minutes. This is one of the longest boss fight I ever had and pretty much the only one where I had to pause the fight in the middle to get to pee. The fight itself is fairly easy and I had if I had resolve I could try to do it no damage, 
but 25 minutes on successful try oh, I'm willing to suffer for the content but not that much I took the win rated this fine one big fat Harley rider out of the band and move on moved on right into abyss Who eats Sterker the Toxic? When people are talking about the hard Berserker fights, usually we hear Growth, Trial, maybe Duo, but we never talk about this guy, because he's usually quite easy, especially if you're high level. Berserker himself has only couple attacks, easy to counter, and his HP pool is quite low. Usually his summons are annoying, but easy to get rid of them, usually. But not in this challenge. In this challenge, those will last, and like trio duo fights, those ads not gonna graciously wait for Hysterico to finish the move like those sisters. No, they just gonna attack you right before his breaker so you can't parry it, or just at the same time as his does unblockable so you can't make the timing right. They will keep attacking when concealed by a Berserker body, so you can't react properly to it. Also, everything is in poisonous clouds, and you can't see shit. But it is not the worst part yet. The worst part is that summoning those bastards is just a regular move. You know what it means? It means RNG can cause him to summon those guys before you kill any of the one on the field. And then again. You think watching for sisters is hard? Well, in this fight I had over 10 enemies in the area at the same time, and no kind of synchronization to give you a breathing space. Freya with her stupid wings doesn't help either, just, just look at this, look at this shit, like she completely concealed those guys with her wings so I could not react. If they're a positive thing to mention, uh, when nightmares are suiciding, they deal tons of damage to the boss if you place their suicide right, so I tried to use it to my advantage. In the end, it was the most annoying fight I ever had. Not only this game, but in any game ever. It was not the hardest one, but even when I beat it, I didn't feel I was in any kind of control. It took me 50 plus tries at least, which is not the worst thing ever happened to me, but if I try again, which I never ever doing by the way, it is not gonna be a single bit easier. Uh, in terms of time, it's around 9 minutes, so not too bad. Uh, 9 minutes on successful attempt, of course. Um, I rated uh, over 9000 toxic mushrooms out of 10, and move on. I went to Svartalfheim and faced the Gather the Feared, and it was a breath of fresh air. Um, fairly easy, got him first try, it did cost me a resurrection stone and potentially I could do it much better, probably even no damage if I tried it a couple more times, but I was doing it on the same evening as the Toxic guy, so I just wanted an easy win. Um, 3 lightning bolts out of 10. Speaking of easy wins, next one on the list was our favorite Starbucks worker, Hard Refill. Also got him first try, no problems, even though I came to him without regenerated health or rage. And I could easily do it, no damage, but it was the same very exhausting night, so I took a quick win. Three large coffees out of the closest Starbucks. Let's move on. Okay, last time Stone and Svartalheim duo fight, and considering how duo fights are structured in this game, it is not too bad. 
Took me a couple of tries and lost Resurrection Stone. Probably could do much better job, but since no damage challenge not happening because of the toxic idiot, I was not compelled to make it better. But if I ever did, the only big problem gonna be this blue ring attack from the Fierce. Uh, because before he actually stomps on the ground doing small shockwaves and it's bloody fast. Um, this is one of the slightly longer fights, took me around 13 minutes. And um, yeah, I'm going to rate it as uh, 6 troublesome individuals out of 10. Let's move on to the Bifrosty. There is nothing new in this fight, um, she has all the standard Mage Berserker attacks, blockable punch 1-2, blockable throw 1-2, etc. So I'm quite ready for her, used my resurrection stone but got her first try with about 10 minutes spent. The only new things is her massive Bifrost Blast when she raises uh, in the air, usually it's interrupted with the ranged attack. But for the sake of the challenge, I interrupted those by entering and exiting Fury. Um, 4 out of 10, and we are ready for King Hrolf. But before, I decided to pay Gnai a visit. By the way, if you are already at this point of the video, like, comment, subscribe, all the stuff. It helps a lot, me and the channel. Initially I tried to do it completely with no attacking and in theory it's doable but I already lost any kind of patience with the toxic idiot so I compromised uh, by using Freya's arrows on Soundstone and Sigil Fire and Shield Strike for interrupting blue ring attacks. I know her moves pretty well since I killed her a couple dozen times already and the only problem was the fact that I, it lasted for over 20 minutes which is a bit shorter than the bearded guy in fact but it's much, much more dangerous. And thoughts about the bearded guy got me when I came near her old gravestone. I just realized he also has shields and like three times HP. This fight meant to last. I tried my best doing completely no attacks again, but spheres are completely ridiculous. So I decided to use a spear to destroy those. In the end of the day, it doesn't deal any damage to King himself. And she'll strike in Blue Ring's attacks as well, because those are covering the entire arena and there is no way of dodging those other way. And um, I had to get back to the changing gear mid fight to Dragon Scale and back to get rid of shields. But well, even with all of those, you know, hacks and exceptions, a successful try took me the entire 36 minutes. So, uh, please cut me some slack here. Speaking of gear, at some point I accepted the fact that I'm not good enough to do this challenge, no damage. So I swapped the chest to Nidavellir to regen, regen some health. I also started using the spear handle that grants the rage burst on stand grabs and run that gives a chance of rage burst on parry to get more rage for cancelling some attacks. On top of that, I put in the regeneration essence. Usually those are not that great, but those challenge fights are long, so you get quite a good value from those. Anyways, I gave some silly ranking for Berserkers because it is a bit hard to compare, so let me categorize them. Frickney, Dual Wielding, The Lightning Guy, Hard Refill and by Frosty qualifies as the easy. None of those took me more than couple of tries I did some of those no damage and I definitely could get any of those no dam no damage if I were a little bit more uh, perseverant in the average bracket I'm going to put trio and duo and the bearded guy those took me a bit of like around a dozen of tries um, but nothing too hard probably could do those no damage as well but that would take me much more effort the Queen and King himself will be joining the hard bracket. Now, those are definitely endurance fights, really long, really tough. Um, and you need to be prepared for lots, lots of different moves. 
I'm not sure if I personally could make those challenges just no damage, but I'm pretty sure it's doable overall. There's nothing really completely blocking you from that. And the hardest one, there's a toxic idiot. This fight is in the league of its own. This is a nightmare. And as I mentioned before, walking out of this fight, I don't believe I learned a shit. It was a complete RNG and almost no control. I'm pretty sure you still can do it, no damage, because fight by itself is pretty short. It's like seven minutes, one of the shortest fights in the challenge. If you, but to do this, you need to play long enough and get the right RNG. The biggest question is, why would you do it to yourself? Um, anyways, this is it. The last five minutes of the video is just the uh, 4x speed fight with King Rolf. If you want to watch it for whatever reason you may have, um, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.